In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare an installation drive for Cubes OS on Windows. This is intended for those of you that want to go straight to using Cubes without first using Linux, since the instructions for validating your install in the Cubes OS guide are mainly for Linux. The process for loading Cubes OS on a USB installation drive on Windows is fairly straightforward. The more difficult part is validating the authenticity and integrity of the files. It may be tempting to skip this because of the difficulty but I would strongly recommend against taking this shortcut. If you're going to use the most secure operating system known to man, you would better make sure it isn't compromised before you even install it. I created a list of instructions and links in the description below. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, please find my video on BitChute, Rumble, or Odyssey, since YouTube won't allow me to post external links in the description without doxing myself. Anyway, I made the instructions as explicit as possible such that you don't need to understand what the various commands are doing. But if you're technically minded, I would still suggest reading through the verification instructions on the Cubes OS site. Although their instructions don't do a great job of showing the exact commands needed to do this from Windows, it should give you a good theoretical understanding of why each step is necessary. The first step is go to the Cubes website and download these four files. I would suggest making a separate folder in your downloads directory as I have here. Right click and save each one. The ISO file is almost 7 gigabytes, so it may take a while to download. The next step is to download GPG4Win. The download link takes you to a page asking you to donate prior to downloading. You can skip this by clicking on the Bitcoin link, then clicking here. If you're extra paranoid, there are instructions to verify the download of GPG4 Win itself, but I've skipped this to keep this video manageable. You have a tricky situation here since GPG is used to verify the files, and you can't rely on the unverified GPG program to verify itself. You would need to use another implementation of GPG, perhaps on Linux or Mac, to verify these files. Once GPG4Win is downloaded, run the installation file. It lets you select which components to install. I just selected them all to make sure I wasn't missing anything. The final component you need to install is Rufus, which is used to write the ISO file to the USB drive. Select the standard Windows X64 version. This file is the executable itself, so there is no installation process required. Now that we've downloaded everything, we're ready to start verifying the files. The first step is to set a Windows path so that we can run GPG from any folder. To do this, first search Windows for cmd.exe and run it. This will open a terminal. Simply copy this command from the instructions and hit enter. Once this is complete, you can now close this window. Next, go back and open the Windows File Explorer to the folder you downloaded everything in. Click File, then open Windows PowerShell as administrator. From here, we just copy each command in order. The first step fetches the cube's master signing key. Next, we extract the fingerprint for this signing key. I've included the fingerprint in the instructions. Ensure that they match. Next, we have to set our trust level of the master signing key so that it can be used to verify the release signing keys. Simply copy the instructions provided. To make sure this command modified the trust level, copy and execute this command. Verify that the trust level indicates ultimate. Next, we need to verify the release signing key. Again, simply copy the commands from the instructions. Keep in mind these instructions are for Cubes version 4.2.2. If you're using these instructions for a later release, 
you will need to modify these as necessary. The first command fetches the release signing key. The next command checks that the release signing key was signed by the master signing key. It should say, two good signatures. The final command checks that the release signing key is in your key ring with the correct trust level. It should say, full. Now that we've verified the master and release signing keys, we need to verify the cryptographic hash values of the cube's ISO file. This is where the instructions for Windows differ the most from the instructions for Linux. First, we need to verify the authenticity of the digests file with this command. It should indicate a good signature from the release signing key. Now we have to run the get file hash command for the MD5, SHA-1, SHA-256, and SHA-512 algorithms and compare the results to the digests file. They should all match. Now that we've verified the signing keys and integrity of the ISO file, we're ready to write the file to a USB drive. First run the Rufus executable file. Then click here to select the ISO file. Leave all the default settings and click Start. When this dialog pops up, make sure to select DD Image Mode, then click OK. Once Rufus finishes writing to your USB, you're ready for installation. For the next video, I'm probably going to demo a Cube's installation and show you how I set it up for making content. Thanks for watching.